So let's take a quick break to kind of get a summary of everything that we've covered so far, which has been quite extensive. Well, we just covered the data table and now we know how to interact with it at least a little bit. We've covered this pane down here, which is the debug pane, and we've learned how to use a few of the panes inside of that. We've also learned that the debug pane is available to us over here. And so we can activate all of the debug points right there. And then here's the shortcut toolbar. That's where you'll get all of the other options and some other debug options here. And we've also talked about the different types of tests and the solution. So now I want to cover another very important topic that most individuals don't seem to cover, but it's very important for you guys to know. And that's over here in File, Settings. And we're going to get this menu that's going to open up. And I'm sorry, I'm in an API test. So actually, I don't want that. I want a GUI test. So let me pull up GUI test one. There's GUI test one. And now let's do it again. Settings. And here we get the test settings menu for the GUI tests. Over here, you guys can see properties. And down here, you guys can see the associated add-ins. Remember in the beginning when we were opening up UFT, the add-in manager came up and we had the option to select what add-ins we wanted. If we wanted to modify them, we can modify them now here. The other cool thing that a lot of people don't learn is we do have an option to convert all of these properties into a VB script. So we'll check it out. If I say generate script and let's see, where am I going to save it? Let's save it in sample. I'm going to put it here, call it test settings, save that, go over here. Check it out, guys. It generates all of the test settings for us that we can use then to configure our tests programmatically. This is very useful when we're doing keyword-driven frameworks. And it even sets up an application for you, does a launch, does a visible, and then it changes up all of these settings. And all of these settings are what comes from the test settings menu from here. So it's from all of these tabs. So let's continue.